everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts and MK Quilts University. So I've got a quick tip for you today, and it's sort of a rewind back to a topic that we talked about and that I demonstrated on a recent live Q&A with MK. But I've got a real live true quilt on the frame today, and I wanted to review this technique. And basically what it is, is creating your own frame block based on a sash or a border treatment that you may already have. So let's take a quick look at the block that I'm working on, and I'm gonna recreate the steps that I did to make this lovely swirl frame block from two designs that I already had. All right, here we go. And you can see that I'm almost done with this block. But that's when I realized, you know, I really should stop and just explain to you and show you how I approached this. So the first thing is I just picked a very, very simple straight line block to fill in the leaf area. What I have planned over here in these small triangle areas is some very, very simple straight line triangles. I'm just planning to skew those right in there. But here is what we are going to create. And let me just drop a picture of the design and the matching corner here on the screen. And what I'm gonna do is a combination of Pro Stitcher Simulation and Pro Stitcher Designer. But it all starts with Pro Stitcher running here at my machine. Now, of course, I could use the measure function to measure this block from the outside most part of the block and then again from the inside. Or, of course, I could just take a tape measure and I could just measure that. But the very first thing that I did was I did Pro Stitcher Mark and Record. That way I could trace both the outside block and the inside block. I saved that into a workspace and then I took that workspace over to my simulator where I could sit down comfortably with my mouse and my keyboard and create the frame itself I did that in Pro Stitcher Simulation, and then I took it to Designer to complete the connection steps and any modifications that had to be made to the connection spots themselves. Okay, so that's a quick explanation of what I did. Okay, so again, on the screen, this is the function that I'm using. I made sure everything else on my screen was unselected and I just went around very loosely with four marks. I did a mark right here and when we're in Pro Stitcher Mark and Record, I am using my handlebars, but it's not the area function. It's the mark function. Okay, so I used the diamond on my handlebars and I did four marks on the inside of the block. Okay, then I depress the select none button. I did the exact same thing. Mark and record under the Pro Stitcher tab. I did four marks on the outside of the block. All right, so that gave me true dimensions for this block. All right, saved it on a USB stick, pulled that USB stick out of my machine, sat down at my desk with my simulator. All right, so I'll meet you there and let me recreate for you exactly how I did this. All right, flash drive is in my computer. Let's go ahead and look at the workspace. And I gave it a special name so that I could identify it. Here we go, row one for class. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna depress the select none button. I always do that step when I open up a workspace. All right, so you can see these are the two items that were in my space at the time. Here's the block that I had already stitched out, did a little bit of cropping on that block, pretty straightforward. Here is one of the mark and record. It just comes in as a freehand design. 
and there is the other one. I really don't need this block open on the screen right now, so I'm just going to close that block and we'll refresh. All right, I'm just going to pull in MKDI just to show you how I truly work when I'm trying to figure out what to put in this frame. Now, before I pull in MKDI, I just want you to know my thought process. It's a leaf, but it's a very specific leaf block. And so I originally thought, well, maybe I want to put some sort of a leaf sash around the block. But then I'm like, you know, the leaf sash that I pick might not match the leaf that I'm actually stitching this around. And so I decided to keep it more general, a little bit more nondescript. All right, here's my MKDI. I'm just going to come up to the top and I'm going to do sash narrow. That is a set of keywords that I use all the time. Let's make these a little bit bigger on the screen so that you can see. And then I just started scrolling through. All right, and I had a few designs in mind that I might use. Ultimately, I decided upon a design that had a matching corner. With my select button, I selected these two. I hit right click and I just did open in Pro Stitcher. Now this is the actual block that I created in Pro Stitcher. So if I use this block and a rubber banded area to build my designs, it should match my block that's back at my quilt.